No worries, James. We'll be in contact. Talk to you soon. G'day. Damien from Proactive IT here. How you going? This month, we've had a number of clients experience some very serious virus infections. These virus infections have come through as attachments that they have opened up. And in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can protect yourself from getting infected with such viruses and also your team. So let's move to the boardroom where I can go through and show you on the whiteboard. All right, so let's have a look briefly at how those viruses get into your email system and then infect your computer. First of all, they come in via an email as in a zip attachment. At the moment, we're seeing a lot of this happening. It seems that viruses are coming in as a zip attachment and they're either so new that the antivirus system can't pick them up or they are hiding from the antivirus system in a way that it gets through. So they get on your system. You then open that zip up and in doing so, you execute a virus. That virus infects your system, and as we've seen, it looks like it doesn't do anything when you double-click that particular file. However, in the background, it's connecting through to a server, it's downloading malicious payload, and it's infecting your computer with a virus. We've seen different types of viruses, but they are all around stealing money and your identity. So the worst one we've seen is where a client the computer got infected, it then went out and infected the shares on the server and encrypted their Word and Excel documents. They then had a ransom for you to decrypt those files and get the files back by paying up to $300. We've also seen viruses that execute as spammers and so your email system is then compromised and you'll have problems sending emails out as a result. So, how do you protect yourself from getting one of these nasty infections? Well, there's five steps. First of all, never open an attachment that you don't expect. If you get an attachment from someone you know and it looks a bit strange, simply give them a call or email them and ask if they meant to send it to you. It's a very common strategy that these viruses do is where they infect someone's system and then send an email out to everybody in the address book of that person. So really watch that. Always pay attention to those attachments and if they look strange, don't open them. If you're unsure, contact your IT support company and they'll be able to advise you on whether or not the attachment is a bit dodgy. Two, always have up-to-date antivirus. Now, even if you do have up-to-date antivirus, you're not going to get 100% guarantee that you're going to be protected from virus infection, which is why the next step and the next one and the next one are very important. I would consider blocking zip attachments. That would take the risk of an infection out completely. And at the moment, while zip attachments are definitely being used heavily by virus builders, I would consider blocking them entirely. There are other safer methods for sending large files to you in your organisation. Step number four is staff training and policies. So I would regularly have training with your staff and your team to educate them on protecting themselves from viruses. Let them know how they can stop themselves from being infected. Have some policies in place that help to protect your business from those infections. And lastly, if something does go wrong and you get an infection, you want to be able to recover from that backup. So make sure you've got a very good backup system and you can use it to recover if you need to. So as you can see, you can protect yourself from these malicious infections. It's simple and if you're proactive about it, you can protect yourself from getting infected. If you've got any questions or you want to know more, feel free to drop me a line. This is Damien from Proactive IT Solutions. For more information on this, email damien at proactiveits.com.au or visit our website www.proactiveits.com.au.